Welcome to State of the County News. I'm Rex Riley. Today is Wednesday, January 27th, 2021, and today we have more school updates, COVID-19 updates, and a segment on how to study for your ham radio test online as part of our emergency communication series. The Boleyn Consolidated School Superintendent, Mr. Sanchez, will be developing a new virtual newsletter titled the BCS Buzz. During this weekly update, Mr. Sanchez will be sharing highlights of great things happening in our district as well as important information for our families. He would also like to take questions from district community members. These questions will then be answered through actions and indirect video responses. If you have a question that you would like Mr. Sanchez to address, please fill out the form which can be found at the following link www.socnews.org slash questions. BCS students will continue remote learning according to the state mandates. BCS is currently getting teachers and staff vaccinated and tracking data to keep classrooms safe. Please call 966-1000 or your school site if you have any questions. Free remote learning resources at the New Mexico STEAM Hub. Parents, teachers, and students can find an array of regional and national resources for science, technology, engineering, art, and math education consolidated in one convenient place at www.nmsteamhub.com. New this year and supported by Los Alamos National Laboratory, it's an online one-stop shop for child care resources, parent guides for online learning, and STEAM activities to do at home. Visitors to the site will also find learning opportunities in STEAM from regional partners such as Explora, Twirl, STEAM Santa Fe, as well as national organizations like Battelle Memorial Institute, Khan Academy, NASA, TGR Foundation, and the math education website ucubed.org. The Los Lunas Schools Parent Academy is designed to help parents learn alongside their child on educational technology topics. Not only will knowing these sessions help your child be successful in using the device and learning tools, but it will also provide parents with an opportunity to advance their computer skills. After participating in the recorded session, parents will be provided with a link to submit any questions or requests for topics they would like to learn more about. These skills can transfer over to how we use technology in our daily lives. From the sidebar, select your child's grade and feel free to explore the topics. More will become available soon. The Los Luna Schools Remote Learning Plan. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Los Luna Schools will provide remote learning for students through December 2020. Watch for more updates on that here on SOT News soon. Los Luna Schools is providing an iPad for all elementary and middle school students. Los Luna Schools is providing a MacBook for every high school student. Please make sure your child's device is charged and ready to use every day. Watch SOC News for more local school updates. HamStudy.org is an easy to use tool for studying for your ham radio licenses. First, you need to choose which test you want to study for, technician, general, or amateur extra. Study mode allows you to read through the questions and you can choose which sub-element you want to practice or just get questions from the entire pool. The graph on the right shows the number of questions seen and your aptitude for that sub-element. When you answer a question incorrectly, you can click Show Correct Answer and see the right answer, and you can also go into the Information panel and get the explanation, which is extremely helpful. Once you've worked through the questions for the sub-elements and you're ready to practice the exam, then click Practice Test and you'll go through 35 random questions exactly like the real exam. When you finish your practice test, you can review the questions and also see the sub-elements that you miss the most. Clicking on that sub-element will take you to the flashcards and you can drill that sub-element some more. 
Once you're comfortable with the practice test, then you can schedule your technician test online. In the pandemic news, New Mexico is not experiencing any shortages of the COVID-19 vaccine and orders for the vaccine are being filled. We've had 169,696 positive cases of COVID-19 in New Mexico and 3,157 COVID-related deaths in New Mexico. In the latest Valencia County updates from the New Mexico Department of Health, Valencia County has had 5,683 total cases. We've had 79 total deaths. We've had 3,119 Valencia County residents that have recovered from COVID-19, and they've had over 70,000 tests. Watch for more coronavirus updates here on SOT News. Today's weather is sunny and warming with highs in the low 40s and warming through the rest of the week. There's a chance of scattered precipitation as a storm front moves through with the next few days in the 50s and nights in the mid to high 20s. Thanks for watching State of the County News. Be sure to subscribe for updates every day at 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. Thanks for watching and stay safe.